The direction of images in relation to other content on the page is a really important concept in web design. And up until now, if you wanted to do something like flip an image, for example, you would either have to write a bunch of custom CSS or you would have to take that image into Photoshop, physically flip it, export a new version, upload it into the website, and then replace the image. But with automatic CSS, you don't have to do any of this. You can actually flip images on the fly, whether it's a background image or a real image. And that's what we're gonna take a look at right now. So I've got two use cases here that we're gonna experiment with. One is a hero section. We've got a nice background image here. And then the next section is a, a split content and image section where we have the image on the right, content on the left. And let's talk about the problem here that we're running into. So whenever you have content uh, next to an image, especially when the image is of a person, it really helps psychologically, it helps the visitor, the user of the site, if that person is looking towards the content or looking at the content with their eye direction. And you can see here that we were given an image, we, we placed this image in, but because the content is on the left, our subject is looking away from the content. And you typically want to avoid that in web design. Now, obviously we could flip and put the image on the left and the content on the right, but that's not what we wanna do. We wanna introduce the content first and then the image is just more uh, like of an, a companion piece, right? Um, because on mobile, obviously they're going to see the content first. That's what we want to do. Uh, and we don't wanna be constrained by images like this. We don't want to be forced to only be able to put content on the right. We want to be able to put content wherever we want it and then manipulate the image to suit that flow. And so with automatic CSS, this can be done in seconds. We have flip classes in automatic CSS. You can flip images across the X axis. You can flip them across the Y axis, or you can flip them simultaneously across both axes. And uh, let's just take a look at how that works. So I want this guy to be looking at this content. I simply add the flip X class. So it's flip double dash X. And there he is. He is now facing the content. Now I can't actually control his eyes, but at least his face and his body direction are facing the content. This always does. This doesn't always apply, I should say, to a person. Sometimes, if you have more white space on one side of an image, you want to position the image a certain way to take advantage of that white space. That's another example. So this works on real images. This is not a background image right here. This is a real physical image, um, but it also does work on background images. And this is very unique to automatic CSS because one of the challenges with background images is that they're part of a container. And if you are gonna flip the container using CSS, what it actually does is it flips everything in the container. It doesn't just flip the background image. So if you tried to flip this background image, for example, you would also have your heading and your text here flipped and they wouldn't be readable. You'd be reading backwards, right? But with automatic CSS, we've gone the extra length to make sure that these flip classes are intelligent enough to only target the background image. We do this specifically by retargeting. When we put a flip class on a section, for example, with a background image, we then retarget the content that's inside of the container and flip it back. So again, with one class, even though you know I applied a flip X down here, I'm, I'm not gonna apply multiple classes here. I'm gonna apply the same flip X class and it is uh, smart enough, it's intelligent to know, hey, we're flipping a background image here. We don't wanna also flip the text. So there's a protection in place so that your text will not get flipped when you use this on a container with a background image. So I'm gonna put flex, uh, flip double dash X again. And the reason I'm doing this is because notice that uh, this text is kind of floating over the ocean and there's this break line right here. And I'm thinking that we're not using all of this kind of dark space over here. And especially this border part of the image, like this trees create like a nice border. And I think if those things were over here, this would look just a lot better. So I'm gonna apply the flip X class. And there you are. You see that we've flipped the background image. We've got this nice tree border right around our text. We're utilizing all the dark area. Nothing is really cutting through our text like it was. Let's, let's flip it back so that you guys can see again. See this line of, of mountains right here is kind of cutting right through our text. But if I flip the image, I can make better use of space here in seconds. 
And I don't have to take these images out and into Photoshop and flip them. I don't have to go write a bunch of custom CSS, uh, which is kind of advanced again when you're targeting something like a section with a background image. I can simply, with automatic CSS, drop one class on my container with the background image or on my class, and I can get the flip effect happening. I can also show you here how I can flip this vertically. So if we wanna flip across the Y axis, that is possible as well. I don't know why you would wanna do it with that particular image because the person's now upside down, but there are potential use cases for that. And then you can also flip them across both axes with flip X, Y. So if you just put the X, Y together, it's gonna to actually flip them across both. So now he's facing our content and he's upside down. Again, I don't know why you would want to do that for this particular photo, but the power is there for you. I'm going to go ahead and put that flip X back on here. So flip double dash X. So he's looking at our content and that is that flip classes in automatic CSS to make your life easier.